Hello guys and welcome to episode 21 of uh, simply the best road where I traded the best possible of as many cars on FIFA as possible. So we're going to be doing a little bit of the inform method. Informs are, sorry, gold special cards are going for I believe 16,750. If I'm not wrong, I think it's actually 16,50. So gold cards are going for 16,50. Then we'll be sniping them at 14,50, which uh, obviously will mean we get a good little profit. And uh, yeah, we're doing, as I say, the same old uh, searching criteria, whatever the cheapest silver inform is. Just keep going, compare price, backing out until uh, we get ourselves a, uh, a good little deal. So as I say, what we'll do is we'll show you guys when we get our first deal. And, uh, and yeah. So we've just kind of completed uh, the daily, or the, what's it called, the Flash SBC. For being said, it cost 10k. We managed to do it for 7.1 right here. Basically, what I always go for whenever they need rating is a combination of like three 83s or 84s, and then just use a bunch of non rare golds and kind of uh, use it to balance. I do actually have a few uh, rares in there, and uh, maybe, I mean, actually, I can't make it any cheaper because I try putting Bruno Fernandes in, which probably would have saved me not too many coins, but a few. But yeah, that's what we get to go for. It was actually a really, really horrible one to do. Now, we've managed to get exactly the requirements 80k, 80 rating, 85 chemistry. You can't see it because webcam's in the way, but. Uh, Two nationalities, that's not too hard. That basically just stops you building like a full Spanish team. Four players from the same league, four. This is stupid. This is like, this makes it really, really hard to do. And honestly, I feel like they're kind of milking it for this pack because this pack does give you six red gold, six red silvers, which is, I do believe it's a great pack. It's obviously why I've done it for 7.1k, but I don't know. It's kind of, they've, they've made some hard requirements on this. A little bit guarded as well because I have a very, uh, I have a very stacked club right now and I'll be like, all right. You know, obviously, there's very hard requirements. Their prize are a result. Maybe your Baines has got, you know, your left backs, your left mid, your left backs, your right backs, your left mids, right mids. Barely anything personally, you know. So my stat club, uh, stat club isn't coming free. And a few players maybe up uh, a few like five, six hundred coins, but you know, I'm not, I'm not too uh, satisfied with that. So let's go, uh, let's go open the pack then and see what we'll get. We'll do a little bit of inform sniping after this bit. So there you go, flash, SBC done, flash. Ah. Also looks at the marking matchups, nothing worth dinner at the moment. But yeah, six red gold, six red silvers, and uh, twelve rares all together. Cool. Can we get? I just want a board. Just give me a board. Yes, it's a board. It's a gold, high rated. No, none of this fat festival of foot card. Portugal, CDM. Oh, we get Daniel Pereira back. Wow, wow, that's just magical. That's just magical if I've ever seen it. Lovely. All right, let's see what else we're gonna get then. In fact, we've got that Ronaldo. He's gone up another like seventy k because of course he transferred. <sighs> Ko, I've never seen that guy in my life. Um. I feel, actually, no, I feel like this guy used to play in the Bund... I, if I'm not wrong, he used to play in the La Liga. I think I want to go check this because I feel like I have tragic knowledge of FIFA, right? I believe this used to play for that team, which is quite expensive. They have mat loads of silvers, uh, and it's a La Liga team with, like, a circle and a little bit on the top. Let me just see if I was right. Kyode. Unless he's always played for them. Nope, I was right, you know. Look at this. Look how tragic my knowledge is. Look how tragic my knowledge is. I know a goddamn... Where are you? A Genoa FC to SK Shakhtar Donetsk transfer, you know? God damn it, I'm a massive, massive FIFA nerd right here. But on top of that, we got that team. It was great luxury. We got this pack is very naff. Nothing amazing. Um, so there you go. That's that pack. Honestly, you know, I'm probably am going to get my money back for it. But, uh, you know, really nothing to screen and shout about. Bear in mind what we could have been. So, uh, yeah, on to uh, probably a little bit of informed sniffing. Or uh, maybe I'll show you some investment we've been doing. So, uh, pre the Team of the Match Day 5 coming out, and potentially another Festival of Foot SBC, I've been doing a fair bit of investing. So, uh, we'll start off, I just, we'll go for them one by one. So, Lewis Hunt, obviously, I've talked about, he's the cheapest 89 by about 78k, therefore 78k per 22k investment. Not bad, it's definitely not quite double what I'm paying, but it's not bad. Bear in mind, I'm sitting on probably about 7 to 800 k at the moment. Got to start going for these more expensive investments, because I'm not doing the unassigned method. But yeah, so we got Andrew Reeves right there, buying for 2 when he went up to 3.8k last one. Maguire, I'm buying Maguire because if he makes his team of the match day, then has a good England performance. We can see what happened to Trippier when he went up to 5 to 7k. And, uh, you know, Harry Maguire could go 5 to 7k from a 900 coin investment. Uh, Sule's going all the way to 4.8, so uh, 1.6k per Sule. And obviously, just getting, uh, you know, just trying to get a mixture of these. We then got another Howard right there, 37k. I'd say the cheapest, uh, 93 by about 30k. So, uh, very good for uh, the up and coming festival, but if not. The uh, bet good for uh, up and coming end of era and doo 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 uh, best of SBC. So there you go. A few more Harry Maguire's right there. Having to pick up the 83 Sule because there isn't so much of a difference. And I've just been bidding loads in the Lewis Arno, just putting 22k bids on them. And uh, and yeah, so what we'll do right now is we're going to change up and do a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the, what's it called? The informed sniping. One thing I actually want to show you guys, because I actually didn't put this uh, out anywhere, but 
I actually managed to snipe ourselves a Howard yesterday. When looking to buy a Howard, we managed to snipe him for 29k. And I got very excited and dabbed a few times. Uh, thank God it didn't make it onto YouTube. It was, oh, I was doing it ironically, but you know, chat still managed to cringe up. But, uh, but there you go, on to Z in form Snifferoon. So it is a silver deal, therefore nothing too mad, but going for 12, going to be listing up for 60... I can't actually remember what price they're... What, what are they going for? Okay, none are, no others are on the market, which doesn't really give me much of an uh, indicator. I think it's about 15,750. Yeah, I think it's 15,750 I sell them for, so not bad. We make ourselves a, uh, a nice little, near enough 3k profit on that card, so not bad. We are, we are as a sniping... Um, Okay, we are sniping, not via the conveyor price method, actually we're sniping via just spamming the market. Uh, I don't know, just, just trying it, because I believe I'm very fast with that, so I think it'd be uh, hard for me to get out one with that card. Uh, via that method, whereas this one, um, this method's obviously a lot more relaxed, because you're not sniping like three times a second. It's probably sniping like one time every second, so I feel like I'm a lot less likely to win cards rather than doing this, which I believe I'm extremely fast with. So, enough of that though, but on to z -Mex. Okay, so we've managed to get this guy right here for 15.50. Uh, I'm actually going to hold on to him, because I want to have one of him as an investment, just as like a P2G part of the investment. So, uh, him and Ender, I want to have one of each, so even though we didn't even, we didn't even get him that cheap, but we'll uh, we'll go and hold on to him and uh, yeah, try and snipe ourselves another card. So we just completed one of the uh, Saudi Arabia um, League SBC ones, just because I was like, I don't know, we need to complete them, don't we? So this one cost me 6.5k, happy days. On top of this, we actually found ourselves a, uh, well, there's a nice little sniping tool you can go with uh, using the Saudi Arabia, because... A lot of teams in the Saudi Arabia League SBC need uh, silvers because you need like a bit of rating and the teams don't have golds, therefore you need silvers. Of course, silvers being one of the rarer qualities of cards on FIFA. Do we get a rare gold player? We do. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of them out there to try and snipe. Oh god, he's very woeful. Uh, hopefully get some silver worth loads of coins. The answer is... Uh, no, no, we do get some Japanese guys, but not really worth much. We do get Emonike. But yeah, I'll show you what this little, little sniping for you can go for is. So... Don't mind me, uh, there you go. Saudi Arabia, silver, bang bang, 200 coins. Because, uh, we can do it, you can go compare price, bang, this guy, 200 coins. I'll tell you what, though, I'll tell you what, this guy normally goes to about 700. So what you can do is, you may have to sell them off for lazy buys, because that's how I've, I've done recently a lot of these Saudi Arabia SBCs, and what you find is, a lot of these players, just, there's not many on the market, therefore, what I'll be able to do is, I'll be able to list this guy probably like 700 coins, 500 coins. Now, you know, you're doubling your coins to like, just over tripling your coins. And, um, I say you should be patient, because what will happen is, people do the SBCs, He'll become rare, and these players, I say, will spontan spontaneously become rare, then non-rare, rare, and then non-rare. And uh, I say, if you can start learning the uh, start learning the Saudi Arabian league, I guess as like the market, so you could uh, you can make some good coins. But uh, it's a little method we used to do, which is the what's it called? A little method, uh, sorry, a little uh, method we used to do called the Silver League SBC. And basically, what that is, or and this is probably what I'm going to do, is consists of going through the leagues which have their own league SBCs. And try and snipe the bronze and silvers. So, for instance, um, to complete the Bournemouth SBC, you either need to use the silver right back or one of these silver left or right mids. And there you go. So, what I'll be able to do is if I can snipe maybe one of these right mids for 1k, well, then I'll go through that. And basically, what you do is you go position to position to position. So, then what we'll be doing is I'll be doing a little bit of this method and I'll show you, uh, show you a highlight of some of the uh, some of the deals we get because it's a good little method I used to do back in the day. And um, and yeah, now it did, it did kind of drop off a little bit when the World Cup mode came out because, of course, when the World Cup mode came out, everyone became flooded on the market, therefore you couldn't really do it. But yeah, it's pretty good. I imagine there's, uh, I imagine it's a little bit more select though than it used to be. Like centre backs, I believe, for um, what's it called centre backs used to be pretty good because you didn't want to get Tarakowski, so yeah, they're quite pricey still. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of silver method and show you some deals we get. So we've got our first deal right here, and this is a uh, Wickham. I don't quite know if I'm going to pause it every time I get a deal, but uh, this is Wickham now. With the likes of um, with the likes of Crystal Palace, they have a massive lack of strikers because of course they got uh, Ben Teke, but other than that, there really is anything on the market, which means all silver and bronze strikers near enough silver for the same price as uh, uh, Ben Teke. So that'll say right here, I've got myself a Wickham. Probably listen between like I'll probably go like 1.8k for him, which isn't bad. It's not you know, it's coins. You know, I'm near enough doubling my coins, and it was a very very easy card to go and get. And uh, and yeah, all you gotta do is kind of learn some of the prices. So Everton, I think Everton have a lack of. Cam centre mids and uh, so on. So we can do is you can go like bronze, silver centre mids, and there you go. They're all about 1.2k. So of course, if I get one right here for 550, now although there's a few here for 950, I can still double my coins. Now I say, when you're sitting on probably the amount of coins I have, maybe this isn't the best method, but the deals come up so so commonly, and I say they're still on so so commonly because so many people are doing the league SBCs, even uh, even at this stage in FIFA, that uh, you know it's not bad for coins. The centre mids right here. Nah, it wouldn't have been too, anything too amazing. Apart from maybe if we had an Evans. Uh, and again, centimid, silvers. I know we just don't know what happened with cams, bronzes. 
And there you go. Next one. Let's see if we got in one for Huddles. Huddles feels very good because they definitely have a lack of um, golds. Of course, they got the likes of Andre Moy, but there you go. 1 3 and 1 2, what the rest going for. It's quite a lot there for 1.8k, so it's probably one thing to stay off of. So, when you're learning to do this method, what you uh, what I'd recommend is if you're not quite sure of something to do, because I don't mind, I haven't done this method for a while, just compare price and uh, see what the rest are going for, you know? So, there you go over the sentiments now. And we'll do have one here for 2.5k, so I'm not fully sure if this is a deal. One there for 2.8k, a few there for 2.8, one there for 3.5. So, it's not bad, but uh, I, think I, I think I'll hold off of it. And let's go to bronzes, and let's go look at cams, finally. I know there's a guy I think called Pritchford. Oh, it's Pritchard, so close. And is there anything good right there? Nothing amazing. So, so what we'll do is we'll keep going through these. You can do it with the Liga, I think I know it with the Liga, the Champs, the Couchua, because of course Couchua has got something like a Benevento, the Bundesliga, because that's of course got the likes of Frankfurt and Augsburg. But uh, another thing is because their uh, position changes have got a lot cheaper, they're, uh, they also kind of kill some of the players because instead of getting cams, you can actually move a striker centre forward for like 300 coins. So I've been doing it with the old uh, method and got to have a dolly for 900 and fits in for 3-2. Now, I'm not lie, I haven't really been, I guess, showing you too much of this because it's a bit hard to tell if you're getting a good deal or not because these silvers, as I say, they fluctuate too much. So I've been buying a fair few silvers. I've bought quite a lot of Montpellier right mids for like 1k, selling them for about 2 dollars to 5 So, uh, so yeah, that should hopefully be good. But uh, yeah, they're quite hard to tell if they're a deal. I think I'll get back on the way of a little bit of sniping because... Uh, so the problem is uh, we don't know quite the demand for some of these silvers and uh, therefore as a result how long you'll take them to sell on and uh, to go up as such. So we're going to want ourselves an Ivanovic right here, if I just quickly back out, for 15.5 uh, and he looks like he's not going for some bad monies to be honest. So 20k, some, uh, okay no 17k, schemazed. Alright there you go, 1750, not bad, they're going to turn around about one point. I think tax about 800 coins in it, so probably about 1.2k on it, so not bad, nothing obviously amazing. On to the, uh, on to the next deal. Not much longer after that last deal, we got ourselves a Delafe for 12k. The, uh, and I, got him, I didn't even get him like, instantly, so pretty good. Going for 12 right there. Seems like we're going to be able to probably sell him for a game, probably about 17k. So one for 18 so far. Uh, 18 for 50. So yeah, we'll, take it, we'll sell him for 17.5. Not bad. After tax, it's probably about a, like a 4, probably a 4.8k profit, something like that. So I'd say that any day with the, uh, the likes of Delafe. On to the next deal. So we've just going to complete uh, the rest of the Saudi Arabia SBCs, which means we're going to get the best version of Al Smile as well as 22k. These were extremely, extremely cheap to do. Starting off with the uh, Al Shabab. So it cost me 4.8k for a jumbo silver pack. Now, none of the packs are very interesting, but it was very, very cheap to do. This one only cost me 2.5k for a premium silver pack, which is the same price for a premium silver pack. Uh, this one cost me 2.7k for a small mixed player pack. Not very good. Only one rare, four golds, four silver, four bronzes. Uh, this one literally cost me 2k uh, for a small mixed players pack. And finally, if we can do that, finally we have this one right here, which is a uh, Kwadeshi, and that is giving us the Jumbo Silver Pack for 3.1k. So, if by magic this one will add, now add to the uh, the list of the highest rare players we have, and that is Al Samar and 20k. And so this kind of seems how we're just like picking up the high rare players at the moment, just doing some of the SBCs because they're both profitable, and uh, of course we're like completing what we would need to do. So first off, let's see what's sold on. Nothing. Oh, that guy. Okay, well, I'll say one of the Montreal players we bought for like minimum and then selling because of the marquee matchups. Let's uh, let's carry on. Let's z carry on. Wow, a lot of big uh, silver packs. Don't really know what I'm looking for. Just obviously someone of value, maybe a rare, not a rare. What do we get? Uh, he's not need for the marquee matchup, but he still plays. He plays in one of the leagues that's still rolling. Therefore, could be used for a future marquee matchup. Uh, as in another league where there's still marquee matchups could be that guy's nothing amazing, nothing amazing, nothing amazing. Of course, he might be in a marquee matchup, but yeah, I say just hold on to it all for now. Got the finishes, I'll sell them on. Get the pace, I think I'll sell that one. Even head might sell on. Uh, this kit, I mean, it's a very, very clean looking kit, you know, that new balance sponsor. But I don't actually play the game, so it's completely irrelevant to me. Alright, next one, which is a game which we'll open up these silvers first and then open up the fancy ones. Do, do, do. What do we have right here? Rare silver. What are you going to give me? Naka. I'm pretty sure I might pack this guy earlier, but again, nothing too amazing. His club's still playing in the. Uh, his club is still playing in the uh, Marky matchups. Is good. Rodwell. Again, another club is still playing the Marky matchups, but not quite the Marky matchups. Store the rest in the club. Happy days. And we've got nothing else in there. So store that. That's actually a banging kit right there with the. Uh, what's, that? what's that with the uh, Krakow? The amount of Polish stuff I'm getting. Alright, three packs to go. Three packs to go. We're going to give us this pack. See another rare player. I'll tell you what, if we can get one of the Marky Matchup players. Nope, just another Japanese one. Hey, maybe we complete the Japanese League SBC very soon. Uh, eh, that guy sells one. 
I'm uh, self aware of that. Polish man right there. Yeah, nothing too much to scream and shout about. Discard that. Alright, now on to the mixed packs, which of course give us gold, silver, and bronzes. Uh, each both kind of pretty shabby. We have like a 1 in 3 chance again, it being a rare gold. Yeah, it's a rare silver or rare bronze in this one. Let's get the pack then. And we get the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, that's nothing interesting right there then. We'll discard him. He's only plays for a rare Oviedo. Yeah. Go old Spencer's FC's team. Uh, that was an awful impersonation. And uh, what do we get on this one? Can it be a rare gold? Obviously, no board. Nope. And again, it's another rare silver or bronze. That being. Good old Thompson, lovely. So, actually, nothing really to scream and shout about. Let's just get this Canadian who might sell him to the uh, Canadian nation. See, that's that. Now we'll probably get underway some inform sniping and obviously show you some. So, we just got to snipe uh, the guy I used to go to school with, you know? And uh, now it's time to make some money off of him, eh? I'm leeching. Alright, so going for 14,750 and going to be selling him for probably about 16,750. So, not going to be too bad at the end of the day. Um, 16,750, which means we walk away this with. I'll probably go like this, which means we walk away probably with like 1.2k, so uh, not too shabby. On to, uh, on to the next guy I went to school with. I'm joking, he's the only guy I went to school with who's in FIFA. So we've got ourselves a, another card right here with the likes of Alessandrini for 14,750. And there's less Alessandrinis on the market nowadays. So going for 14,750. Let's scroll to about the 5th ninth minute. Or not, because that might take a, a year. Alright, so we're going to take a gauge, and we're going to say he sells for about 17k. Uh, maybe just less than 17k. So as a result, we'll get about 1.2k off of him. Not bad, but uh, yeah, the problem with Alessandrini, him and Lozano, I mean, especially actually Alessandrini, are so flooded on the market that... God, that would have been good. Uh, that um, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's obviously worth less because there's, there's more flood in the market. But enough about me uh, waffling on, on to the next pick. So we got ourselves a, a Middleton. He's not amazing uh, because, you know, he's, he kind of only sells for a bit because he's a man match. But nonetheless, none cheaper than 23k. I mean, that's ever so promising. I'm just going to list him up for 20k because I don't think he's a heavily demanded car. But hey, you know, if people do want him, go mad. I will end up making about 4.5, 4.6k on the Middleton, which would be brilliant. But as I said, I don't really uh, have any hopes of selling him for 20k. I think it'll be one of these sort of cards I just have to relist for about 18 or 17 odd. I'm going to send him on, but on to the next deal. Take on stuff, guys. So we got ourselves our uh, Mr. Winston Reed right here for 14,750. So, not looking too bad. I actually missed the read earlier today. So, uh, you know. Oh, what the hell? Why are you cheap? Why the hell are you cheap? 16,750. Well, that's just disappointing. Uh, that, honestly, that is. I'm disappointed in you, Winston Reed. Sorry. But um, that's only like 1.2k now. That's just disappointing, Winston. Uh, whatever, next deal. Oh, that's a bit sad. So we got ourselves another deal with the likes of Sanchez. So we're going to be selling for 16750 which means we make about 1k after tax. On to the next deal. Okay, so we got ourselves another sniper. We actually got quite a nice one. We got Vencino. So going for 15, going to be up for 18k, which means we make our turn around about 2k prop on him. But yeah, nice little uh, nice little snipe of the uh, of the Vencino. So there we go. Happy, uh, happy, happy days. On to the next investment. Or snipes. So we've uh, gone and completed two of the marquee matchups because you can basically do them for near enough uh, zero or very cheap. I basically just use a bunch of players in the club uh, and they're all players that, you know, obviously don't have any value. So this is their numerate Uno. Uh, all the players cost me 200 coins, basically. I mean, they're all pack called, but I mean, they don't have any value anyway. So none of the uh, another leagues have their own league SBC. So, uh, so yeah, that's the um, that's this one. This one guy obviously cost me 400 coins, which means it cost me 2.4k in the end of the day, so not bad for an Electrum Players pack, that gives me 6 gold, 6 silvers, 1 rare. And secondly we have this one which gives me a small prime Electrum pack, that's banging, that's like 3 rares, 3 gold, 3 silvers. Again this team only cost me 2.2k, uh, you know, this guy cost me 200 coins. Then I went through the um, Austri Austrian League, you can, you can literally, you don't even have to do that, you can go maybe Austrian players for these 3 right here, you go with French, Spanish, second league players with these three. And then you go with like a German Bundesliga 2 defense um, with a non German uh, Bundesliga 2 goalkeeper. But yeah, there you go, there's that one as well. So, two really easy little packs. I, I doubt I can even lose coins in them. So, let's see if we can get something good, you know. So, what does the uh, small give you? Three rares, three gold, three. Oh, that's amazing. This one, not so much because you, know, you basically have like 50 50 getting a gold. But, do we get a gold? We don't get a gold now, it's a rare silver instead. But nonetheless, even if I discard it, I bet it discards more than a, what, 2-2, two, two, wasn't it? Oh yeah, 2.5k. Uh, do we get anything good? Uh, right here, I mean, 
This guy obviously good for his uh who he's obviously good for his relative league SBC, so is that guy. Neither of those golds are too good. I mean, we do get some good gold non rares. Premier League, Premier League, League and League and, you know. Might get a little bit for them, but it's more the uh, more the second one, which is interesting. Uh so let's see we get them. That's where we could get like some decent player. Obviously no balls right there. Not even a rare gold. You're telling me there was a 50-50 chance of each each of the rares being a rare silver or rare gold. And we have three rare silvers and three rare gold. That's like flipping a uh, coin three times and getting tails three times in a row. Literally is as well. Uh, I mean, we knew that, but yeah, feels bad to the man. We get this guy with a stupid little highlight on his head. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, whatever. All right, so yeah, nothing too amazing right there. I'll just sell that on. And we'll crack underway with some informed sniping or maybe some investing. I don't know what I fancy. So we just won ourselves a Theo Walcott for 14k. Theo, Theo. 22k for him, by the looks of things. Happy, happy days. We're going for 14. Selling for 22 right there. There's obviously 8k between the uh, cards. Uh, after tax, that's about what, 7k profit. Happy, happy days, you know. The girl Theo Walker, I mean, sadly his cards aren't quite what they used to be, you know. He used to have an amazing, like, Arsenal striker cards. But, um, you know, obviously off to Everton and uh, getting right forward. He's also lost a bit of his pace. He used to have, like, a 98 pace, you know. He's all the way down to 93, you know. He's going to end up doing a bit about Aaron Lennon and just end up at, like, a 70 pace card very soon. But there he goes. I'd like to Theo Walker. Brilliant, brilliant little deal with him. On to, uh, on to the next card. So, obviously, these don't profit, but we've gone and done a lot of, uh, a lot of these, what's it called? A lot of these SBCs, now I'm not going to lie, I haven't actually counted this one up. So, let's say this one cost me about 4k. Uh, they're really, really cheap to do. I'm not going to lie, obviously, we've been uh, trading with some informs today. And, you know, I'd probably say, like, the profit we've made per two informs has probably paid for one of these. So, uh, there you go. That is Johnson. And why am I doing these? These are all the um, these are all the best versions of their cards. So because uh, the, what they've done in each one of these, apart from, I think, I don't know, I think it's every, basically, every single one of these is the best version. Now, I was going to say, apart from Izzy who has a uh, inform who's joint with him. But none of these SBC players in the Nations SBC have a player who's high rated. So then we have Chile. So it cost me 4.3k. Of course, me giving me the best version of Vargas. I mean, of course, the Mexican League are still on, so he could get a, another card, but it's kind of unlikely. So that is us done with uh, the America. We also have Europe right here. Europe. We've got Denmark, which cost me 4.6k, giving us the best possible, well, the best version of Christian so far. Again, Christian, I don't imagine, unless he gets a footies, uh, won't have a high rate card. We then have completed the likes of... Did we do the Netherlands in the end? No, I don't think we did. We were, we'll probably do the Netherlands, though. Uh, we've got Norway, Norway, which costs us 3.2k, giving us the best version of Joshua King. Card I used to use, fair, uh, used to use a fair bit back in the day. Joshua Kling, King, Eric Husaklep. Uh, I think I've got a guy called Kieta or Kietia. Played uh, right mid. Uh, he used to run, like, who is it? It was, like, Berg and players like that. It was so, so good back in the day. But there you go. Got the likes of... Is this Glick? Did we get a Glick? Oh, Milik, sorry. Yeah, best, best version of Milik. Of course, uh, got an injury last year when he had his uh, one torch card, which is a bit sad. Uh, then got Portugal. This one costs us four. Sorry, Poland costs us 3.9. Uh, Portugal, which costs us 4.7k, which gives us an 84 rate. I'm not lie. Look at that. Like an 84 for 4.7. The best one's Netherlands because you can do this one for about, I think we do it for like 3, 4k, which is cheaper than buying an 86 altogether. So, yeah, interesting. Then got like a Russia, 3.2k, 3.2 for the best version of Shatov. And uh, finally, we've got the likes of... I don't know if there is any more teams. Up. Yeah, wait. Sweden with the Norwegian flag. We haven't actually done Sweden yet. So that's that done. Now what we'll do is we're just going to invest in a few England players. Uh, just in case they do get themselves team the match they say. Probably a few Maguire's and probably a few Pickford's. Pick them up, love them the transfers. And I'm also going to clear out the room on my um, transfer list just so we can uh, prepare for uh, the SBC. We're going to presume to get in about 20 minutes time. So we've got ourselves about 30 seconds till we have a uh, said new flash SBC. Uh, I mean, not gonna lie, we had a pretty big flash SBC prior. So tell you what, if they want to give us maybe a, um, if they want to give us like a 50k pack or uh, something big like that, go mad. Um, Cleared up the transfer list. Obviously, you've got loads of cards uh, already on the pre bid, and uh, and yeah, see what we're gonna get then. So long we have now. Then we got another five. 4-3, 2 to the one, and EA gives us Flash SBC wise, Rare Electrum players back, the exact same pack. What? Uh, it's the exact same pack, but they've decided to make it so, so much easier. So, you need 76 rating, players from the same nation, 4, so you literally just go with like a Prem team, nothing to invest in. Uh, but it's actually a really good value for money SBC, so we'll definitely be doing it, and uh, let's just see if EA have dropped anything else then. Presumably, have they tweeted anything about a team in the match day today? No. Okay, so this seems like uh, what we're going to be ending up doing. We're going to go to the SBC, and uh, I'll join you back when we've done the SBC. 
So I just gotta complete this SBC, cost me 6k to do. I always go for just a few, uh, when everyone wants rare golds and high rating, I just make sure the rare golds are like the two really, uh, two really high rated rare golds who are cheap. And of course, going the two goalkeepers, it said loads of different nations. I started looking for a few different leagues with uh, lots of different silvers above 70 rated. Super League came through right there, so uh, yeah, I was managed to uh, also keep this guy, which I'll probably use him in the Nigeria SBC because, yeah, going for 200, probably going to be a selling for maybe a K. But uh, there we go, though. this is the team we're going to run. It's the exact same team, uh, exact same pack we had earlier, but 1.1K cheaper. And you can probably even do it a little bit cheaper as well. So let's go see if we get anything good in the pack. Six rare gold, six rare bronzes. Sorry, six rare silvers. I would expect a board. But I would neither be disappointed. Uh, I'm disappointed, but let's keep going then. What are we going to get? Uh, oh my god, we got Zaha. Jesus Christ. Nothing amazing right there. Uh, let's carry on and see what else we get here then. A few 80s maybe. Ooh. Ooh, sad, sad times. Sad, sad times. I mean, League SBC, League SBC, League SBC, League SBC. Uh, but yeah, sad, sad times. That's an awful pack. Well, there we go. There we go. On to, uh, I guess, on to whatever maybe comes at six. Uh, so we're going to go ourselves a Lanzini for 15.5. Lanzini seems to be going for an admirable amount of, amount of coins. 22k. Not bad. Let's keep going then. 24. 25. 20. Yeah, we're we'll selling for, uh, we'll for 21k. Not bad at all. So, uh, what is it? 15 to 21. That's probably about 5k profit loss attack. So, uh, happy, happy days. On to the next deal. And we've been outbid on loads of stuff, obviously, while the coins have gone up. So, uh, we have enough coins for uh, for days to buy stuff. So, I'm going to be quick with this because we potentially have a team in match day in five minutes. Unlikely because there's no concepts, but potential. So, you got Morocco right here, 4.3k. Just a little bit of this, just to kill a bit of time. Happy days. Get ourselves an Saudi. He had a brilliant card a few years ago and used Linkoid Trap. And uh, then we got South Africa. See if for Kuro, we geared ourselves a to shabba lava 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 lava, and that one cost me 3k. So uh, we've got about four minutes now until uh, six o'clock. Potentially going to get team the uh, team the match link. Potentially not going to get one, uh, and therefore we'll just stream myself for an hour. But whatever. And then we have uh, the England game. So of course that's uh, pretty interesting. But yeah, see you guys in like two minutes time when uh, I do some pre-investing. Or oh, sorry, when uh, we rash invest if there is anything. So EA, EA has dropped team of the match day. Which is uh, like compiled of, I guess, all the best performers of the team in the match. So hopefully, uh, we can just check our team via clicking on it. Please don't, please don't make me look at it as if it's a tournament. Maybe single player play the team week. There you go. Um, so yeah, basically the drop team in the match day. These are all like the uh, the highest rate cards. I guess we're going to get this tournament. Although matey boy, um, matey boy at EA, one of the EA devs did say that we were going to have two more uh, team. Uh, what's it called team of the match days. Even though this is the last one, so, um, you know, kind of interest. Maybe we get, like, just some madness or whatever. But, uh, but the are here it is. is. So, 99 uh, Hazard. Some mad, mad cards in here. 95 De Bruyne. So, not really that interesting. Let me just tell you what uh, I invested in. So, of course, with these cards in packs, these, pack, these are in packs for the 16th. Therefore, uh, I believe they're in packs basically for a week. Uh, the cards I look to pre-invest in, so I've gone really, really ham in Mandzukic, just because he's a 83, needed for the Juventus SBC. Uh, again, just a high rate of play, and obviously people are probably hyping up because he, uh, he uh, really knocked England out. And, um, and obviously makes the finals, so obviously if he has a great performance in the final, uh, and his card is in the packs because it's in this, he's going to go up loads. So I've, I've picked up not enough, like 70, 80 of him for a 2k and under. Honestly, there weren't too many cards I looked at. I looked to get a Harry Maguire, but due to England sadly being out now, there's just, uh, obviously, there's not going to be that much hype around, uh, around the last game. So, Harry Maguire, right there. I mean, he could go up because, uh, obviously, you know, he's had a pretty legendary performance for England. But, uh, yeah, obviously, Trippier's already up. There weren't too many pre-investments. They did drop the SBC, and I'm not going to lie, the investments with the Festival Foot went in extremely well. Howard's which we bought under 40 and now about 57k. Lozano's we bought for 22 and under uh, are now going for 32k. And, uh, as I say, I bought loads of these, uh, loads of the Mandzukic. I do need to sell on the Adjarizes and Sule's. Uh, EA has gone and uh, chucked us again and decided to do the SBC but ne make you need even less chemistry which near enough means you can do the whole team using like goalkeepers and strikers and you only have to have like four or five guys on chemistry which is you know it makes it a little bit more annoying because it means more goalkeepers are being used and less of uh, Adjuries and Sule's but it is what it is you know we'll sell them on because the SBC is not off too long SE is also sitting about 100k as well so obviously very expensive I would be kind of surprised if we don't end up getting almost a trade out. We go have one of these. We'll have that in the next episode. 
But uh, I would be kind of surprised if we don't get a tradable one of these because it seems like they're making this untradable requirement cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And uh, hopefully that means that uh, the hit between the untradable and the tradable isn't as much. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what it is. I don't think we're going to get one until maybe the full World Cup is over. But um, but yeah, that is it. Now on to the... Uh, well, that's no, right. This is the end of episode, I believe, 21. So thank you very much, guys, for watching episode 21. It's been a very long episode. It's obviously gone because uh, England got knocked out, but... Hey, it is what it is, you know, I can't do uh, obviously anything about it. If you guys uh, are interested, I do 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 uh, buy daily uh, training guides, which means you get a training guide every two days. You can do that via subbing with Amazon Prime, links down below, just head over to the Twitch. Sell the Amazon Prime and you get training guides every two days for free by using Amazon Prime. Um, everything I do is streamed on Twitch, but yeah, there's, there's enough plugs, I think, done. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video and all that rubbish. Uh, no, stuff. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with episode 22 i believe just heading over to my channel make sure yep episode 22